Influence of machine learning in search to improve the relevance has led to different types of machine learning search applications based upon the business use case. As a result, open search evolved a lot to adapt such machine learning advancements and released many features to make it easier for the users to build such machine learning search systems. Welcome to this demo session, build the right machine learning search with Amazon Open Search Service. I am Praveen Mohan, working as an analytics specialist and I have with me Hager, Open Search Solution Architect, who will do the demo. Let's first talk about the different search types supported by Open Search. Search or information retrieval can be broadly classified into two categories. One is the sparse retrieval and the other one is the dense retrieval. Sparse retrieval is supported by algorithms like TF-IDF or BM25, the best match 25. Under sparse retrieval, we have keyword search, the basic match technique based upon the overlapping of keywords between the query and document. Next, we have neural sparse search, which is basically a way to expand the documents and queries with additional contextual terms and then perform the basic keyword search. This way, we will be able to avoid the vocabulary mismatch problem and then improve the relevance. Next, dense retrieval is basically the similarity search performed by comparing dense features called vectors or embeddings. These vectors are provided by the machine learning embedding models and are compared by algorithms such as k-nearest neighbors or approximate nearest neighbors. Under dense retrieval, we have vector search, which is similarity search using purpose-built models for text, images, audio or video. On the other hand, we have multimodal search, which uses machine learning models that were trained to learn shared embedding space for multimodal elements. Here, for example, text and images will be sharing the high dimensional space. Next, we have the hybrid search and as the name suggests, here we combine the keyword search and the vector search scores of the documents for a query and then render results in a hybrid model. The last one, RAG, the retrieval augmented generative search, comes from the application of large language models. Here, we first retrieve documents using the vector search and then provide results as prompts to large language models to augment the response. Conversational search is nothing but an adding a memory element to a RAG application and facilitating search in a QA conversational style. We will be covering all the searches but RAG in the demo. For the demo, we have a simple architecture where the client application is hosted on an EC2 machine which interacts with the backend that is Amazon Open Search Service through a Lambda function. For all the search types that involve vectors, we use remote uh, uh, models which is sitting in Amazon SageMaker and also the bedrock models to provide vectors for your uh, text and images. This feature of using remote machine learning services to provide vectors is available from Open Search version 2.9. Internally, Amazon Open Search Service uses the machine learning model serving framework facilitated by the ML Commons plugin. This is where uh, Open Search actually converts the provided text or image to its respective vector by triggering the remote models. In the actual process to achieve this, we first create uh, machine learning connectors using dedicated machine learning blueprints that can connect to different third party uh, ML platforms. These include uh, SageMaker, Bedrock, Coher and OpenAI as custom models. For the demo, uh, we're going to use uh, the SageMaker and the Bedrock connectors only. Once connectors are created, we then register and deploy the models in Open Search using REST APIs. By all these steps, we provide Open Search all the details to reach out to the right 
a machine learning service and then trigger the model and do the vector conversion for the provided text or images index pipelines and search pipelines actually facilitate the vector conversion during the indexing of documents and uh, searching of search queries respectively hi in this demo you will search through a sample retail data set using sparse retrieval methods dense retrieval method search and hybrid search all powered by Amazon OpenSearch servers. Note that in this demo, we use OpenSearch 2.11. Now in the web application, you can type in your search queries in the search query bar. You can also upload an image for the multimodal search. And you can also select the type of search that you'd like to use from keyword search, vector search, hybrid search, and multimodal search. If you'd like to enhance the keyword search using the sparse uh, embedding features, you can click on expand query and documents with sparse features. In this demo, we are leveraging OpenSearch pre-trained by encoder model to create the sparse embedding for both documents and query. You can also fine tune the hybrid search. So you can give different ways to the subqueries, QNN and um, BM25 subqueries. And you can also choose the normalization technique for each subquery, then OpenSearch will combine the document scores using one of the techniques that you can uh, choose from as well, uh, like arithmetic mean, geometric mean, and harmonic mean. Last but not least, you can also choose uh, one machine learning model from uh, Titan embedding model that is uh, hosted on Amazon Bedrock. Or you can also uh, use uh, one of the machine learning models that you can um, deploy or host on Amazon SageMaker. Note that in this solution, uh, OpenSearch invokes the uh, embedding uh, models in Amazon SageMaker and uh, Amazon Bedrock using out-of-the-box AI connectors available in OpenSearch 2.9. Now let's try uh, with first example, looking for trendy footwear for women. Click on go. Now for the uh, first keyword search, we have a list of results that have been displayed for us, 10 documents. As you can see, the first uh, two documents, for example, do not refer to uh, a footwear. However, it refers to a jacket or a glasses. Why is that? This is because the keyword search in itself will only match the keywords or terms in your search query with the terms that are available in the captions within each image. Here we see that there is a match between a trendy and woman term. So for keyword search, this might be a relevant result. Now let's see how it works with a sparse search. Let's click on expand query and documents with sparse features and will regenerate the results. Click on, on the blue button here. So the results clearly changed and now all the uh, images are related to footwear. The sparse search here, the sparse embedding, it will um, generate terms that are similar or provides similar meanings as the terms available in your uh, search query or even in your document um, captions. So for the query, for example, the terms that have been generated are uh, trend, women, food, etc. And as you notice here, every term 
is um, attributed or uh, has uh, a weight that is attributed to that uh, specific term. Same for the documents here. So if we click on expanded document, we see uh, these um, additional uh, similar words like sandal, for example, uh, which has a high weight of 2.23. And uh, this is what makes this image basically uh, most relevant for this uh, high, for the uh, sparse search uh, method. Now that we improve with the keyword search using the sparse retrieval uh, methods, let's move to dense retrieval search type with uh, vector search. For that, I will select vector search and regenerate the results. Now we see a different list of footwear for a woman. And in vector search, we don't necessarily have uh, matching keywords terms between the search query and the image captions. However, we might have um, words that have similar meanings to what we are looking for. For example, style and comfort can be related to trendy. Um, the same for the others, for example, here stylish black sneakers, so it can be also related to trendy, etc. Moving to hybrid search now, combination of BM25 and um, KNN search. And let's generate uh, the results for hybrid search. So we see uh, new images that have been uh, included into the uh, search results. You can also see non-relevant uh, search uh, results, such as the jacket here. This is where we can actually fine tune the hybrid search by giving more weight to the KNN uh, subquery, for example. So uh, we leave the uh, normalization and combination technique as they are, and we'll, let's regenerate the results. Click on the blue button here. And now when looking at the uh, results, it's all about footwear, it's all about the trendy footwear, etc. And we no longer have that uh, non-relevant results because we gave more weight to the um, KNN scoring than the BM25 scoring. Moving to the multimodal search right now. In multimodal search, you have the option to search by text only, by image only, or by both text and image. In this use case, let's search by both text and image. For that, I will upload an image of a summer footwear for women and click on go to generate results. So I have my text, trendy footwear for women and the input image of a summer footwear of women color black, leather, a uh, kind of specific type of uh, style. So as you can uh, see, the results here have changed. So we have more leather uh, examples and also even the style of the shoes um, changed based on the image that we uploaded. So we can see that the leather sandals here, for example, it matches more the um, image that we uploaded as an input. Now it's your turn to build your own machine learning search solution using Amazon Open Search Service. You can recreate the same uh, web application that I shared with you in the demo using the first QR code. You can also have a look uh, or more information on each type of search using the second uh, QR code. And in the third QR code, you will learn more about the new features and enhancements that we have uh, added to Amazon Open Search Service in 2023. Thank you, everyone.